and you can see the uh, connect the uh, wires are connected together together with more Polar Polaris connectors right there and the uh, the AC wires come in to this box they come through this panel they come into the bottom of my flexware AC panel right here basically in this flexware AC panel you have two buses for the hots and two separate buses for the neutrals so essentially what's happening is the AC circuit or the uh, backup circuit going to the backup panel and the grid tie circuit going to the grid tie panel is they're separated so I've got a breaker on the the two uh, grand two grid type circuits that come in so I can kill the grid um, to my inverters if I want to I just flip those down disconnects progress energy power from my inverters and then also these two breakers here um, I can kill power from the inverters to the backup panel so I'm not going to go into the whole wiring uh, details, but it's not very hard to do. As long as you double check yourself. And basically, what happens is these um, backup circuits and the grid side circuits come into the two 3648 inverters. And if I pull the cover off of here and look inside there you can see that there are two red wires and two white wires well one of the sets of red and white wires is the grid circuit and the other set is a backup circuit so you have one in on here and one out and then you have the same thing here you have the other in and the other out because remember their um, circuits are terminating on a double pole 60 in the grid tie which means two circuits and then a double pole 60 on the backup panel which is uh, for the two circuits the double pole so I've pulled the, the covers off of the the DC part of the inverters which basically the red is the plus and the negative is the minus this is a, um, a negative ground system so the negative is the ground. Um, for this negative on both the inverters I used uh, 2 watt and I used 3 watt for the plus side. I could use 3 watt for the negative but I had 2 watt. It's a little bit easier to work with so that's why I used it. Then I used 2 watt for the ground. And those DC circuits they basically come into the FWDC panel the DC and the plus goes to a plus uh, bus in the back and this bus is actually not what came with the Outback um, FWDC the one that came with it is actually down in the back here and I did not use it because it's so small and I wanted to use larger wires so what I did was I found another bus basically it's just a copper plate and it's held off the back of the box with uh, isolators and I installed that um, because I wanted to be able to use large wire so I put that in and you can see it right there it's about I don't know five inches long it's a copper bar and it just allows me to be able to bolt um, my connections on there um, so anyway that did not come with that WDC I put it in um, so it made my life a lot easier so you see right here the two pluses uh, go into the inverters and they go um, basically they come from these breakers here well they're breakered 
and the reason they're breakered is because they're actually connected um, to the batteries. So basically these breakers allow you to kill power to the inverters, DC power to the inverters from the batteries. And when I first installed this installation, um, I went with eight Trojan L16H batteries, which you can see right back there. Eight of them stringed in parallel. I'm sorry, eight of them stringed in series to get me 48 volts. And a couple days ago, I ended up buying these extra set of batteries because I found out that I really didn't have a large enough battery bank. And uh, these are basically the L16 version of the Trojan, but they're made by DECA. And I bought them from Batteries Plus for about 187 bucks each, and they put a worker sticker on it. So, they're a little different as far as how you're connecting the connector to it. Um, as opposed to the way that Trojan did it. Let's see. You pull that off, it's flat, so you just put your connector on there. Like that. Right there. And all this stuff here is, uh, the sticky, slimy stuff is, uh, oxide inhibitor um, basically you can use Vaseline if you want to I heard that works real well so so now I have 16 batteries and they're wild, wired in parallel right here it jumps over and just connects down to there this is the negative side and the plus side right here just jumps over down to here so anyway kind of hard to see so back to the FWDC um, here's a, uh, a lightning rester and basically um, this is connected to that, to this bus back here on the positive wire that's coming from it. The positive wire coming from the arrestor, and then the negative wire coming from the arrestor is going to the um, negative bus, which is back here. And then the ground from the arrestor is going to the ground bus, which is in the back, the back corner here. And that's to protect um, the, uh, the equipment from lightning. And let's see. Uh, here's a ground fault breaker, and that's basically protecting um, the MX60. And the MX60 is a charge controller, basically, for the solar panels. And it looks like the solar panels are putting out about 55 volts. And the batteries that are at are at 51.5. So. What happens is um, the feeds from the solar pan solar panels come through the ground into the side of this wall here, and then into this conduit and into this box. This is just a four inch square box. And basically there's two wires in here, a plus and a minus. And they go into this conduit, they go around, go into the side of the FWDC. They come out, and the negative from the panels goes straight to the negative bus. The plus from the panels comes around and goes into the bottom of this ground fault breaker. And from the top of the ground fault breaker, the plus goes down and into the into the MX60.